Welcome everyone to another episode of Tech Flood. Today I'm going to be doing a tour of my home network. So first off here I have just a normal cable modem through Midco. We have 500 megabits per second download and 20 megabits per second upload. Coming off of the modem we have a Unify USG security gateway. This is what we use as our router and firewall. Coming from the router we have a Unify Switch 8 150 watt. This is a PoE switch, so that powers our Unify access points and cloud key. This provides 8 gigabit Ethernet ports to other devices on our network. Coming off the switch here, I have a Unify cloud key Gen 2 Plus. This allows me to cloud manage the Unify controller, which manages all the other devices, and I will show later. Behind the USG is a Philips Hue bridge. This allows me to control all the smart lights in our house. So coming off the switch, I have a Unify Nano HD access point. This is what we use for Wi-Fi in our house. I have another one of these upstairs, so it allows devices to roam between the two access points. Here's our upstairs access point. Uh, these access points do have 4x4 multi-user MIMO, which allows us to get pretty fast speeds over Wi-Fi. Also on our network, we have several TiVos throughout our house. This allows us to watch our cable TV and Netflix, Hulu, and other streaming services. On my rack, I have a PDU, Power Distribution Unit. This has six ports up front, and it has six ports in the back where all this equipment is plugged in. Another thing in this rack is an exhaust fan. However, due to the noise it makes, it is unplugged for the filming of this video. Moving on to our smart home and automation setup. Uh, we use several Amazon Echoes throughout our house. This allows us to play music, control the lights, and control the TV, all with your voice. Another thing on the network is this Bose SoundTouch speaker. This allows us to stream music over the network. Another thing used on our network is a Mocha bridge. This connects to the cable modem through a coax cable and provides an ethernet connection. And we pay for 500 megabits and I can get speeds very close to that. So now I'm running a speed test here with the Mocha bridge just to demonstrate. And you can see the speeds are very close to the 500 down and 20 up we subscribe to. See, we end there with about 450, and then the upload usually gets to about 22 to 23 megabits. Works very well. All right, so this is the Unify controller. This is the home screen here. Devices tab, I can see the USG, the security gateway, the eight port PoE switch, as well as the two access points. Another cool thing with the Unify controller is the guest networking feature. So if I go into our wireless networks here, you can see one of the networks has the guest network checked, which means it has guest policies applied to it. Now in our case, the guest network policies are, the guest network is completely separated from our internal LAN, as well as the guest network has a cap of 50 megabits download and 5 megabits upload. And that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.